Hi, friend. We're Morose, Chase, Jake, and Pablo. Last week, we found a campsite on Washington Island during the peak season for fall leaves. We learned about Norwegian stave churches and explored a totally sandless beach among several others before finally deciding to head even further north to the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And even though we travel full time in our school bus, we are readjusting to life on the road all over again. And almost every week, we're reminded of something we've forgotten to bring. I think this is too much hose. I don't know. I'm sure at some point I'll think, think to myself, wow, I'm glad I have all this hose, but right now, I don't think so. But it's nice that they have potable water here. And I don't think we were supposed to stay overnight here, but uh, we didn't have any issues, so. Chase, thank you for breakfast. You're welcome. Guys, we drove away from my hash browns. We drove all the way from Nashville to Green Bay, Wisconsin to try the new pumpkin spice oat milk latte. No. I'm kidding. Chase it's, it's an inside joke. But I did get pumpkin spice because fall spooky season. The landscape started to change the further north we got farmlands to small coastal towns, and eventually lush and untouched forests. Guys, are you ready to go pee pee? Do you wanna go pee pee? Do you wanna go pee pee? Do you wanna go pee pee? Come on, let's go pee pee. Do you wanna go pee? Come on, let's go pee pee. <gasps> There's places to pee pee. Who wants to go pee pee? Paco, you wanna go see the lake? Come on, you wanna go, go see the lake? Wow. Come on, you guys. Yeah, pee pee. <laughs> It's very windy, but it feels so good. I think the hat, the hat has helped me not be as cold. Yeah, check this view out, friends. After a long drive, maybe like what, four hours? We made it. We're, We're in Picture Rock Lake Shore. Park. Park. <laughs> We're in the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And it's our first time here, and I'm so excited. The colors are beautiful, there's not many people around. In every single park you look, there's water view. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is really pretty. So let's take a look around, walk the dogs, maybe have some lunch in a little bit. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. And it happened, 
again. Pablo has got out of his car like so many times and he just stand around. <laughs> It's definitely brisk here. Good thing we've kept our coats and stuff out of storage, huh? But uh, super pretty here. Well, Jake got so sandy that we're gonna have to give him a little outdoor shower. Well, just to clean his paws and dry it before coming inside the van. Pablo's just rubbing himself on the sofa. His face is wet. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I made some lunch. A delicious sandwich it has some dried tomatoes avocado a sprouts cheese beaching sauce avocado did i already say avocado i don't know but let's give it a try mm. chase i don't think you will like it i can eat yours for you Chase is taking a rest while Jake is the one who's gonna drive us. Where are we going, Jake? Are you tired after you bite the waves? Is that what's going on? Was it was it a nice little jump? You refresh yourself in this hot weather day? So, there's not a lot of places to stay for free or to boondock here in the Upper Peninsula. There are a couple, and we reach out to our friend Hallie from Hallie's Wondering Soul. She's on YouTube as well as on Instagram. You should go check her out. But we really appreciate her because I reach out to her, and she got back to us in like a minute with a place that we should go. It's starting to rain kind of in the area that we're going, so when we get to the road, that's where we're headed now, we may or may not be able to make it down, so we'll check it out and see. In the Upper Peninsula, it's common to wander down a two-track road, or one made of sill and sand. On our way to a place called Mosquito Pond, the road began to narrow with overgrowth. Friends, this is a little bit more stressful than we thought. Whew. We put it on the GPS and it looked like a quick drive, but it was telling us to turn where there was not a turn. There's no road. There was no road. So we continue where the like signs will tell us to go and it added 10 more minutes to our drive of pure mud, sand, um, and now, through our drive, started raining, so we're trying to do this as quickly as possible and be safe because we do not want to get stuck. We have our own set of rules that we follow. Trust your gut. Never show up to a remote spot at sundown. And if you're unsure of the road in the rain, just get out. So that's what we did. Well, that was a little stressful. <laughs> We're back on the road. We made it to a, like a... I don't even know what it was. There's a guard shack. 
but we were on the inside. So it looked like we were not supposed to be there, I will say. But nobody say anything. And now we're back on a regular road, which is very good news. Super good news. I don't Timber know. Products Company. Thank you, Timber Products Company. Sorry if we trespassed. Seriously, sorry. <laughs> but thank you for being there. But I have to say, at this point, I'm very happy sleeping in a parking lot. Yeah, I'm going to try and find a parking lot. So we were driving to this uh, parking lot, I guess, and then Chase passed this little, like, sand road, and we decided to check it out. It looks very nice. The spot looks very nice. See you better there. I looked on Onyx Hunt for the state of Michigan, and it turns out that it's uh, Michigan state-owned land, which dispersed camping is allowed on all Michigan state-owned land, unless it uh, falls under like three odd instances being around a state park or something like that. So just so happens to be uh, forest land, and we are good uh, to stay here. So. Friends, yesterday we made it to this beautiful spot, but we haven't been able to explore much just because, of course, Chase and I always attract the rain. So it has been raining. You can even probably see it's about to start raining. So we decided to just stay in here. We're going to work in the computer, have some dinner, and just relax. I already start. <laughs> but we're excited that you know nobody bothered us here last night um and it was just beautiful all around also chase find out there's over 20,000 bears on this area and i'm hoping that we see one but far away oh it's the rainy So, Jake got some beer on him. Well, he pulled me, and when he pulled, he spilled my beer, and he came to the back and shook. Here, there's beer everywhere. Oh, oh, Look at see. here. Yep. Beer everywhere. The floor on the is wall. so sticky. Oh, my goodness. How to get me in a bad mood? in two easy steps step one spill her beer step two get it on your body and then shake it all over in the van i'm so mad i'm ready for a shower i'm steam i'm i'm sticky now sticky or stinky both jake what have you got to say for yourself sit well, if, if she would have just let me run around Leash. Look at all that beer on him, on his back. He's been cleaned now, but still. I still love you, buddy. Porque 
tiene belleza Tú me ves el booty más con tremenda certeza Ay, con esos ritmos y un par de cervezas Ya nos ambientamos porque esto apenas comienza Y en vez de que nada de lo que veo acá Nadie lo comprará, no está a la venta Y yo le digo más, si te perreo más Me empeñaría ya para esa vuelta Como tú te mueves así bien After a Michelin rated meal at Marose's Van Side restaurant, <laughs> I'm gonna use our shower to take a shower for the first time. Are you nervous? I'm not. I am. I hope we have enough water. Look at my towel. That's mine. Pretty cool, huh? Go for it, Chase. Well, so I'm going to. There's also this little fella here that if you want to keep your water primed, you can just flip it and it shuts the water off. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I installed it because I'm smart. <laughs>